My name is Kathy Nesset. I'm a geologist. I'm located here in Tioga, North Dakota, which is where we are today. The western part of North Dakota is actually referred to as the Williston Basin, and we are a depositional basin. As we move across the state of North Dakota, from the east to the west, the rock layers are actually down in a depression. This depression was originally created hundreds of millions of years ago. The crust of the earth was shifting and it allowed for this depression to occur and on top of the basement granite rock over the hundreds of millions of years sedimentary layers have filled in the depression and we are now drilling through these zones identifying which ones have oil in them. Now let's take a look at the Bakken itself. And at this location, the Bakken would be about 10,000 feet deep. The deepest part of the basin is in McKenzie County, down around Watford City area. At that point, the Bakken is about 11,000 feet deep. As we have the stack of rocks here, remember we always start as geologists looking at the bottom rock because that's the first one deposited. That was the Three Forks Formation. The Three Forks Formation is approximately 150 feet thick. The next formation up as we come into this is the Lower Bakken Shale. This is the entire Bakken system right here from Upper Bakken Shale to the Three Forks but the lower Bakken shale can sometimes be as thick as 40 to 50 to 60 feet thick of shale. The next zone up we're looking at is the middle Bakken. There's places where it will be as thin as 10 feet or pinching out to zero, but it'll also be as thick as 50 feet. The next zone coming up is the upper Bakken shale. And generally, in the productive areas of the Bakken, the upper Bakken shale will be about 10 feet thick. So if we think about this entire thing, we have about 10 feet here, about 50 feet here, we have another 60 feet here, we have over 100 to about 120 to 130 feet of overall Bakken thickness, followed by about 150 feet of three forks. We refer to the entire rock units as the Bakken system because they're charged with oil sourced from the shales.